This video covers everything you need to know about microscopes for your GCSEs. We look at the parts of the microscope and how to use them, how to prepare a slide, and then draw your observations to get maximum marks. And to help you remember it all and revise, there's a short knowledge quiz at the end. The first thing we need to be able to do is to label and use the main parts of a microscope. We start off with the stage light. On some microscopes, they have a mirror to focus the light up through the specimen. This one has a proper light. The light then passes through this next part, which is called the stage. And this is the area where our slide will sit. The light will pass through the stage, through our specimen, and this is where our objective lens then focuses on the image. This microscope has three objective lens, 40 times magnification, 10 times magnification and 4 times magnification. The next part is the course of the knob. As you rotate this, it moves the stage and the specimen closer to the objective lens to bring it into focus. You also have a finer adjustment knob which makes smaller changes to the stage and helps to really get that fine detail from your specimen. Then we have the part we look through which is the eyepiece lens. Let's now have a look at how we can prepare a slide with onion cells. So the equipment we'll need is a glass slide, some iodine to stain the onion cells so we can see the organelles a bit clearer. You'll also need to use glass cover slips to put on top of your specimen. Using a scalpel, carefully cut a section out of your onion skin. Once you've got a piece of onion skin, using a pair of tweezers, gently pull away a sheet of onion cells. Gently smooth the sheet of onion cells onto the slide, being careful not to get fingerprints all over the slide. The next stage involves staining your specimen. I'm using iodine here. Normally you'd put a drop of water on and then some iodine to really bring out the organelles in the cell. Gently place the cover slip at a 45 degree angle and slowly layer it onto your onion cells. Then gently place a piece of paper towel on the edge of the cover slip to drain out any surplus stain. There's our slide. To view the onion cells, we put the stage into its lowest position and put the objective lens to the lowest magnification. We then turn the coarse adjustment knob and gradually bring the specimen closer to the objective lens. As it starts to come into focus, we'll notice that it might be a bit blurry. This is the point at which we use the fine adjustment knob to improve the focus. Once your image is clear, you need to be able to draw your observations. Now the exam board are very specific about observations drawn at GCSE. So here is a drawing done by one of my students of the onion cells they saw. Let's check to see if they've met the criteria. So one of the first things that they have to do is to use a sharp pencil. If we look at this drawing, we can see it was done using a sharp pencil. Second thing is the lines need to be unbroken. So no shading or anything like that. They just need to draw the outline uh, of whatever it is they see. We can see that they've done that. The next thing they're supposed to do is to label the important features. And if we look closely at the diagram, we can see the cell wall, the cytoplasm, the nucleus, all those clear things are on there. The next thing to include would be a magnification scale. We can see from the diagram that they've said the magnification is 100 times, and then they also put a scale in which shows what the real length is of something in the drawing. So we can see the real length here was 0.25 millimeters. That's really useful in future for working out the size of the other organelles. Okay, it's time to test your knowledge of what we've just covered. You've got five multiple choice questions with 10 seconds in between. So here's is question one. Which part of the microscope is the blue arrow pointing to? Is it A, the objective lens, B, the stage, C, the eyepiece, or is it D, the course adjustment knob? the objective lens. Question number two, which part of the microscope is the blue arrow pointing to?
Is it A, the objective lens? B, the stage? C, the fine adjustment knob? Or D, the coarse adjustment knob? It was D, the coarse adjustment knob. Question three, which part of the microscope is the blue arrow pointing to? Is it A, the objective lens? B, the stage? C, the fine adjustment knob? Or D, the eyepiece? It was B, the stage. Question four, when observing a specimen under a microscope, which of the following should you do first? Should you A, start with the lowest power objective lens, that's magnification, B, start with the highest power objective lens, or C, position the stage as close to the objective lens as possible? It's A, you should start with the lowest power objective lens. Question five, when drawing your observed microscope image, which of the following should you not do? Draw with a pencil. B, use straight lines. C, include a magnification scale. Or D, shade and color the organelles. It's D. You shouldn't shade and colour the organelles. I really hope you found that video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up or subscribe. Have a great day.